Hello everybody and welcome back to Space Engineers. Now, um, I have flown over here to where we are currently on this little asteroid. Uh, you can see Earth over there. We're a long way away. We're about 151 kilometers away from our uh, home. And the moon is somewhere around here. Not entirely sure where. Where are you going, moon? Uh, it was around here. It's somewhere. I will find it. But uh, I'm going to hop out of the cockpit and I don't have my jetpack on. That would be helpful. Actually, how much fuel have we got just in case? Because we need plenty. Yeah, we got plenty. So, we have landed on an asteroid. I found one and I made sure that I had enough... Uh, enough um oh what is it called enough hydrogen there we go it went a bit blank there uh, enough hydrogen to be able to land here and there is the moon over there so it's not too far away i just wanted to land on this asteroid see what it had to offer us and actually it had a fair bit of stuff it's actually a, i love the way that the terrain is generated for this sort of thing it's pretty cool shows that it's been hit a few times but um yeah the thing that was good about this asteroid isn't just the fact of it's hollow in the middle and we can see stuff through it. It's also the fact that this stuff is here. And if we go up to this, you can see we've got ice. Yes, there is ice on this asteroid. So that is brilliant. This is what we needed. Uh, also I upgraded to a better gun. So we now got precision aim. Uh, not that I actually need it yet, but yeah, this blue stuff is ice. Originally, I wasn't sure if it was ice or not, but uh, this is indeed ice. So as you can see here, ice. There we go. So we've got lots of ice, and then if we go and find the hollow patch, which should be just down here. Here we go. Into the big abyss. Let's turn our light on. I think that's on anyway. Is that? Yep, that's one. So you can see here, there is no end. This is why I wanted a miner. No end of iron. There is just masses of the damn stuff. I mean, this is glorious. But unfortunately, we are going to have to leave this place and head over to the moon. Uh, but I'm actually going to... Uh, Bookmark this place just to make sure I know where it is for the future, just as an in case. We'll grab a bit more of. Wait, this is nickel. Oh, we got some nickel as well. I did not know. Ha! Huh. Okay, so I guess one side of this is banded with nickel, the other, uh, the interior is banded with iron, and then there's a little patch that has ice, which means we could actually live on this asteroid if we really wanted to. But we're not going to. We're going to see if we can actually land on the moon. I've got my save backed up. I did say, uh, I think in my update the video, that we were going to revert the save, which is what I have done, because more people said to revert it than not. Plus, it meant I would have lost everything and taken forever to re-get everything so yes but we are back anyway so that is a good thing right we don't have anywhere to actually store this stuff properly so let's see cockpit would probably be the number one place at the moment and we've got no end of ice ready to get ourselves some more hydrogen and oxygen so that is all good that is all fine and dandy and now we're going to attempt to try and get on to the moon once again but before we do that we are going to gps we are going to set up new from current position there we go so put pill two we're going to call this oh god uh asteroid i've asked oh, asteroid helps if i spell right as usual asteroid and then we're going to call it ice Iron and nickel, because this is actually a fairly good. I've probably spelled nickel wrong. Is it el? I think it's el. I don't know. Ah, uh, yes. So right, that should be done. There we go. We can see that here. We're actually going to get rid of that, so we don't have to see it. Earth like station body location. We don't need that one at the moment, really. Uh, yeah, we're going to show in the hood. Nope. So there we go, it's now invisible. Okay, right, well, we're going to head over to the moon, see how this all goes, and if it goes... 
if it goes well, excuse me, then hopefully we should be good. Right, now, why can't I go anywhere? Because I don't have hydrogen on, that would be very helpful. Okay, right, where are we going? We should be going this way. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go, there's the moon. And we're not too far away from it either, so uh, at least we know that. Goodbye, asteroid. Thank you for your plentiful resources. All right, I'm going to head up a little bit as well, because I don't want to hit directly into the moon this time like we did last time. So hopefully we should be fine. And if we... Oh, God, helps if I turn dampeners off. Actually, I'll leave those on, and we will instead just turn... Engines off, there we go. Okay, so uh, I am going to turn back on the hydrogen. We are going to slow down, and this time I actually want to stay alive when hitting the moon. I'm going to try and stay as far away from the surface as I can for as long as I can and I don't want to be going too quickly uh, like we did last time and actually pummel into it so I'm hoping that this will go well enough at the moment we're at 160 that's fine I'm gonna turn that off for a second um, oxygen amount still high so we're good on that right let's attempt our second lunar landing I guess uh, doesn't seem to be much here, and unlike last time, there wasn't actually a pirate, which I didn't notice for a very long time. So, oh god, we actually want to be slowing down a little bit more, because I didn't realise we were going quite as quick as that. Oh, miles away from Earth. Bye-bye, asteroid. Right, we are still going a fair trick of speed. I don't mind that too much, because we are still only nearing the moon. We're not actually on it yet and I sort of want to go down a little bit as well so hoping we will have enough uh, ice for this we are still going let's get to a hundred again and then slow down I don't want to be going too too quickly I've learnt my lesson I should probably reverse it into the moon to be fair just go this way because it'll probably be easier oh it helps if I actually swing the right way there we go yeah, because we've got more thrust on the back then, so it means we won't be hitting anything quite as hard. So, let's go down a little bit. Let's hopefully not collide into anything. Oh god, this is risky. I really hope there's no pirates or anything on this planet, otherwise I would be screwed. When is the gravity going to kick in? I know the moon doesn't have a lot of gravity, and we are actually closing in pretty swiftly. So... bit quicker. Should be nearing the gravity zone soon if there is any, which there should be, because I mean it is only the moon, it's not like there's no gravity, it just means it's probably going to hit a little bit slower. So we'll slow down. There it is, there's the gravity, right, let's Hope we don't go... Are we still moving? No, we're not moving. Good, good. That's what we want. That's what we want. We want a softest patch to land on if possible. Which currently is looking like that bit over there is the best. So I'm hoping that we are going to not collide into it this time. There's going to be enough gravity to or lack of gravity to actually push us away. I won't go too quick because I don't want to smash into anything, so that would be handy not to do. I want a flattish surface, which at the, at the moment this was looking flattish, it's not anymore, and why are we lagging? Game? Hello? Oh, there we go bit of a stutter there. Yeah, this was looking flat. It's not looking quite as flat anymore, unfortunately. Um, hmm. 
could be a little bit of a problem, but we can always work around that, I'm sure. Still not looking the roughest of terrain, though, so it's fairly okay. Let's hope that our thrusters give us enough kick to not worry too much about... Oh god, is it doing it again? Yeah, we're doing it again. Oh god. Oh god. Go down a little bit. Look at these craters! Holy shit! Look at them! This is awesome! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, right, let's go down a little bit to this. Oh shit! Uh, hope we're still recording. Okay, we're going down. Oh, not too quick. I don't want to go too quick. Look at the size of that crater though! Holy moly! I have been on the moon before, but I have not seen a crater quite as big as that before. That is awesome. <gasps> Shit, no, 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 no! Well, people, we've landed. It may have been a slight crash landing, and we may have lost our main hydrogen thruster, which isn't good, because... Uh, let's just say that all of our hydrogen is gone, and that's why we ended up pummeling into it. So, I actually need to find ice, because otherwise, I'm going to probably suffocate to death, and we're going to run out of hydrogen as well. So, that's not good. That is not good at all. So, I should probably get out. I mean, we are on the moon. We have done it. We now need to find resources pretty swiftly, if you ask me, which I'm not looking forward to because I don't have any real resources for that. So, yes. Um, hmm. I don't know how to find resources. I don't know where there is resources. Are you a resource? No, you're not. I should have kept some more ice. Ah, oh, balls. I don't even know if there's any way of finding anything on this planet. So, I'm going to go back to my ship. I'm going to pray to God that there is enough hydrogen. Um, I mean, there's none left in the ship at the moment, which isn't good. Uh, I'm actually going to turn... Oh, no, they're already off. That's good, that's good. Okay, um... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, because if we run out of uh, hydrogen, then we're sort of screwed in a big way. Because it means that we'll just be floating because there's... Wait, there is gravity here. Of course there's gravity here. I don't even need to use hydrogen. Oop, there we go. Just means we're going to take a lot longer to get anywhere. Boing. Boing. I forgot this was the moon. Of course there's gravity. There's just not a lot of it. Ah, wee. Right, let's go into third person. Wee. Moon gravity. I mean, we can't exactly jump very high still, but... <laughs> wee. Okay, well, I love the uh, landscape of the uh, asteroid anyway, or the, not an asteroid, is it? Is it? Well, it technically is an asteroid, it's a barren world, but I need to find some stuff. We can see our ships over that direction. I'm hoping that we'll eventually come across some resources of some sort. So far, I am not seeing any. Ice would be the main one we want, so... I know that there are resources on the moon, because I've played multiplayer and there's been resources on the moon, it's just finding the damn things. Yeah. Well, it's looking like a whole lot of nothing at the moment, but that's a barren world for you, so... Yes. But anyway, we've made it to the moon. I'm fairly happy about that. We're finally off of our planet, like... We were last episode, apart from this time, we did make it to the moon, we just sort of crash landed while here. So, yeah. Oh my god, there is so much nothing. 
So much nothing! Oh man, I should probably try and zoom out on my character and... Oh, no, that's not gonna work, is it? Shit. See if we can find any resources, but I'm not seeing anything. Look at this place. This is... This is so beautiful! So beautiful! I should probably have got an ore detector of some sort. Hmm. I'm not getting anything detected at the moment, which is really pissing me off. Also, guys, uh, did you... Well, I'm presuming many of you that watch this have also watched the update videos for uh, Space Engineers as well, but uh, they recently announced uh, the new sound system and oh my god that's just awesome uh, the three different or I think it's three different stages of audio that happens when you're in space is just brilliant because <gasps> oh Jesus that's okay We've got a jetpack that's the main thing right let's actually use this a little bit just to get around a bit quicker there's a big black spot here so it makes me wonder if there's resources Unless this is just shading. This might just be a shadow. Oh, no. Silver. Okay, we didn't need silver. Not what we're looking for. It's a nice thing to have found, but we're not looking for silver, unfortunately. Anything else that we can find? Yeah, so the audio, when you're in space, you can barely hear anything. Of course, there's still the vibration where, uh, through your suit, so that still picks up, which is awesome um but there isn't actually any like proper audio in space like you would expect so um yeah that's cool um okay we're getting a few dark patches but i'm not finding any resources at all slightly disconcerting uh huh Okay, what's down here then? Anything? Nothing? Guessing nothing. Nope, nothing. Oh man. Yeah, so the uh, audio and everything should be coming soon, I'm hoping. It'll be a pretty... Well, I guess it'll be, you could call it a big update. A bit like um, a few of the updates we've had on this. I mean, not like as big as the planets and everything, but still pretty big update, so... I'm regretting coming to the moon now. I mean, the jetpack is really nice to control here, but I'm regretting coming to the moon because there is just no resources at all. Have we got anything here? Uh, nickel again. Oh, no, wait, we had silver before. I need ice, man. I don't need nickel or silver. I just need ice. Oh god, don't do that. I don't want to die on the moon. I suppose we should go back to our ship and just pray to god that we find some stuff in a little bit. I mean, I really need platinum. That's the main reason I came into space in the first place, but... Oh god, we... Ooh, lag. Bit of lag. Oh dear. Oh. Hoping that that's because things are generating and nothing else. Oh Jesus. Hmm. Well, I'm finding a whole lot of nothing, and we've got lag, so that's going great. That's just brilliant. Our jetpack actually picks up quite a bit of speed on this planet, so pretty happy about that. It's just a shame we've got the jitters. Hmm. It's probably telling me that I should end. I know it's been a bit of an empty episode, and we haven't had a whole lot, but at least we've landed on the moon. Oh, God, refilling. Uh, anything down this crate, just real quick, before we end, because... That would be nice if there was ice down here. There's a dark patch. Whether it's dark enough, I don't think. No, it doesn't look like it. Ah, well. Well, guys, I guess we are going to end here. Um, I will see if I can get anything. Otherwise, if the worst comes to the worst, we're still going to have to leave everything here and pack back up and go to Earth. How are we going to do that? Well, we will have to probably... 
die and respawn, which we're probably going to end up doing anyway if we can't find any ice, so, hmm. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We are on the moon, and we're all happy dandy and all this. So that and the other, and yes, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, if you did, give it a like. Remember to subscribe for more content coming in the future, and hopefully I will figure something out between this episode and the next one, which will hopefully be fairly soon, because otherwise we're going to be screwed and we're going to be stuck here. I think the only thing this destroyed was actually the engine, so we might be okay, but I don't know. We will see. We will see. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. I've been Pugpeel, and I will see you guys next time. So until then, 